Hey guys, Chris from TD Motion. I have two more power plants on the floor today, two Coyote engines. One actually is an illuminator, one is the standard setup, the 435 horsepower. So let's talk about this one first. I'm gonna walk around here, show you what this kit comes with. We set this up, this particular customer wanted with all the accessories, the AC power steering, the alternator. Um, so you're gonna have everything you need, whether it be for an automatic or manual transmission. Uh, this particular one is for an automatic transmission, so you can have your hookups for your transmission so that the engine and the tranny can talk together. Uh, you can have the control pack here, the fuse panels inside here, all the necessary wiring hookup, all is clearly labeled. So it's going to hook up to the engine, to the ECU, so they all can plug and play there. You have your, your trans lines, you have the throttle by wire, the starter, the hardware, shifter handle so it's a pretty complete kit and i would definitely recommend this for any street rider hot rider muscle car that wants uh, as plug and play setup as possible now someone that's going to do uh maybe a little more serious racing with it or has uh, a lot of sophisticated software that they want to use extra tuning the holly efi dominator setup would be the way to go this one set up too with all the fixings the ac power steering alternator um, as I said, the Dominator, there's not a lot we're going to show you here today on it because there's stuff in the box which is already installed onto the engine. We've kind of all tucked it away to make it easy for the customer. But this system is very sophisticated, very powerful. It can control hundreds of different settings on the engine to really fine tune it and make it run. Now, I pull this off. You can see uh, we tucked away some of the stuff with the... the uh, the coil drivers, the ignition, uh, the ejector hookups are all here for them already. And then we've also hooked up all the wiring here in the back, tucked it away for them. We removed the control motion valves from the back here, left them open, just makes it for better performance. And, and that's there for more or less the uh, emissions and for low speed driving. So all in all, great setups. One's definitely more plug and play. The other one's gonna be more for, uh, for higher end, for, for racing and guys that can do extra tuning that have the capability to do that.